<laughs> I'm Robert. I'm Paul. And I'm Ron, and we're three idiots eating sandwiches. Yeah. Bam. All right, here we are, three idiots eating sandwiches. Today we're in San Francisco, California, at a place called the M Spot. And we have a train. We have the right we now. have the Muni cruising by. All the uh, sandwiches are themed after train stops, I guess. So, and here's the thing: they kind of chicken. They're sticking out their chest a little bit here, and they're saying they're the best sandwich place in San Francisco. Ooh. There are a lot of good sandwich spots in San Francisco, and That's we have bold claim. barely even touched on them. Um, you know, you know our fave so far is the deli board. Deli but board. Uh, let's see if this place stands up to the deli board. Our, our friends, the Snack Sensi, who's a food reviewer, a food blogger here in San Francisco, calls this place the number one sandwich place. Mm. Ooh! We'll so see. we're gonna do a, re a re review with him next week. We'll bring out the Snack. Maybe sensei. we'll go to deli board. We might bring him to deli board. I don't know. Anyway. Paul, what do you think of this spot in San Francisco? Well, we're in the Excelsior District, which I don't know that much about. We're kind of somewhere near Candlestick, I think. But uh, yeah, I love the San old Francisco. Candlestick. Yeah. Well, we are near Balboa High School and Balboa Park. Oh, okay. So Balboa, a special right. spot for me because my dad was actually signed by the San Francisco Giants right out of Balboa High School. They play their games at Balboa Park because there's not a baseball field at Balboa. Well, we're going to go check it out. Yeah, after we eat, let's go take a look. All right, three idiots in San Francisco at the M Spot. Let's go. Here we are at Balboa Park, just about a mile or so away from the M Spot M Spot Deli, and uh, this is the T Line. So these are all—all all these sandwiches are named after um, lines of transportation of the metro, I guess. Um, anyway, this is the T Line. This is turkey and pastrami, and it looks bomb. It usually features salami, but no salami today. We don't need it. All right, let's get into it. Y'all's ready? I'm ready for right, this. The M Spot. Heard a lot about this place. Has a great feel, has a great look. I mean, it is a heavy sandwich. There we go. One bite. Everybody knows the rules. A lot of avocado on there. A little, a little afraid get of into it. <laughs> what do you think of this? It's warm. The meats blend really well. The bread is perfect. There's drip. We're in the nines. Wow. We're in the nines, and I'm going 9.1. Nine point one for the very this good is the, M spot. Uh, the T line. T line at the M spot. All right, nine point one from, really good. from the wrong. Going again. All right, and you get into this tea line here. It looks super good. Um, pastrami looks good. Turkey looks good. Yeah, you know, um, these meats are sliced just like we like them, nice and thin. Let's give it a shot. I, I see a, maybe a pickle on here. Yeah. Yeah. They're sliced very thin and they just <laughs> mesh together real well. Yeah, let's go. It goes in. Listen to that crunch. Mm. There's a lot of good crunch That's there. a well built sandwich right there. Yep. The M spot. And yeah. we saw the owner, we spoke to the owner, and we didn't even ask him his name. Yeah, he knew we were coming, so he built us a very nice sandwich. But um, it is it is good. I mean, this is really good. He was as far as the score, sandwich. though, what are you, what are you thinking? Because you're looking like you're ready to take another bite. I am ready to take another bite. But I can tell you right off that the bat. That means you like it. This is in the nines. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go with a 9.3. 9.3. Yeah, it's probably it's, more fair than 9.1. It's really good. But yes, all I'm right. Going in again. Here we go. Crunch. Listen to that crunch. Mm. 
Uh, 9.3. All right. All right, we're here in San Francisco. We're in uh, Balboa Park, which the Balboa part of San Francisco is really interesting. I've never really spent that much time here, but it's very cool. I like it. Yeah, we'd have to look up the origin of the name Balboa. Yeah. Because we've got Balboa High School and Balboa Park, and this is where Balboa High School plays all their sports. Yeah. So Paul's going to dive in. Let's give it a try. On this turkey pastrami sandwich at the M Spot. They usually feature salami, but a lot of these places are having problems getting salami right now for whatever reason. This is like the best sandwich ever, man. Like all ice is meat, super good. Great turkey, good bread. Excellent. I'm giving this like a 9.6. Is it like a 9.6 or are you giving it a 9.6? I'm giving it a 9.6. <laughs> all right, 9.6. That's solid. Yeah. And fair. Okay, we're going to dive into this uh, tri-tip sandwich. This is the M-Line, right? The M-Line. Oh. And it looks super good. Um, the first sandwich we ate was $14.99. This one is $16.99. Very solid, uh, fair prices for these sandwiches. They're super heavy, lots of meat. Um, this one's on the Dutch Crunch. Let's get into it. Boom. Got my hands wrapped around the M. Yep. The M-Line. M-Line. The M line and the M uh, stop must be their signature sandwich. Yeah. Here we go. And that's a tri tip sandwich. This one's on Dutch Crunch. Last one was on sourdough. Uh, he recommended the Dutch Crunch for this one. Hmm. This is weird. It's a weird sandwich. Mm hmm. I mean, the tri tip's awesome. And the sauce is real, but it's a spicy sauce. Mm. And almost like a Middle Eastern type oh, taste to it. You know, the last sandwich had a little zip to it. But, yeah, but this uh, one has a lot of zip in a, in a, like I said, almost like a Middle Eastern flavor to it. Interesting. All right. I'm not sure how Paul's going to like that. Because it is <laughs> spicy. How do you like it? I like my spice. Yeah, that's good. I like it. Um... But I don't think this is in the nines. I think this is very high eights. Okay. You guys might rate it higher. We'll see. But I'm going to go 8.9. As high as I can go in the eights. 8.99999. Beautiful. All we right. have been joined by a dog. Let's just get a shot of the dog. He's right okay. down here. Okay. We don't know if he has an owner out here. or. Well, we'll see. He's a nice so, dog. I do see that straight off the bat, there are jalapenos on this. Oh, there's the spice. There's the spice. But you, you dive in and tell me what you're tasting on the flavor right. gonna right the now. sauce. I'm going to right now. Birds chirping. Mm -hmm. I mean, is there something there or is it just me? Oh, well, there is. I'm trying to figure out what it is. It almost has like an Indian well, quite it's or... It's like a little bit of like a chili powder or something. Huh. I don't know. You're right, there is some kind of spice on here. I'll have to check it out. Paul's battling the flowers. Mm. The, <laughs> the pollen. The road the fuck. <laughs> Alright, so what are you thinking? thinking have, you, have you figured out the flavor yet? No. I'm thinking I don't know what spice it is on here, but it's good. I like it. Yeah. Um, you know, my brother's a chef. So Jack we, Hayes. Jack Hayes, chef the Hayes. chef. He's good. So whenever we're confused, we usually uh, we usually just give it to him, and he tells us exactly. He can what's take in a it. bite and tell you exactly what's in it. You know, when when Smash Mouth first started, actually, Jack was the band chef, and he yep. prepared uh, you know vitamin regimen and meal <laughs> plan for them, which they never did. <laughs> but um, he he was the band. He chef. was ahead of his time. That's yeah. Good. So, anyway. As far um, as a score. As far as a score for this, I really like it. Uh, I don't know what the spices are, but I'm going to go with the 9.1. You're in the nines. I All do right. like the other sandwich a little better. Yeah. Um, but I, I do really like this. This guy knows how to make a sandwich. So It's probably uh, the best trite that we've had. Yeah, su super good. What was the guy's name? The guy's Sal. name was Sal. Sal. Nice guy. Knows how to make a sandwich. 9.1. Yeah, he has passion for what he's doing. All right, 9.1. For the right. M spot. All right, Robert was talking about Jack, his brother's uh, catering company. It was Elegant Events in Campbell, 
And that was our, the kitchen was like our first office. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. All right, well, um, back to M Deli. And, and that kitchen was on the, uh, on the Alameda? No, that was on no. Valencia. Yeah. It was like, oh, in Campbell. In Campbell. Okay. All right, keep it straight. All right, dive in. Now, a little backstory here. Tri tip is not Paul's favorite, so no, let's this see. Is super good. Ah, all right. I like the sauce. I think this is a killer sandwich. I give it a nine point seven. Right away, it came to you a nine point seven. Yeah, that's this is awesome. Very yeah, high. You know, Paul does like meat and bread. I do like meat and bread. Yeah. And that's that's meat and bread. And it's very good meat and bread. It's very good meat and bread. Yes. Wow, yeah. nine point seven. Yes. For the M stop at the M yeah. stop. Nice. Awesome. All right, here we are at Balboa Park. This is where Balboa High School plays baseball. And this is where my dad hit a 450 foot single. And the reason why it was a single, it went over the fence on top of the house. But as he was rounding second, he missed second. And he told me he knew he missed second, but he didn't think anyone saw it. And you know, so you just can't, kept on running. can't really get a feel for exactly how far those houses are from here, but that is quite a distance. I mean, well, that... The, yeah, the newspaper said high schooler, high school star, his 450-foot uh, single. Yeah. Because you get a single. If you get, you know, they, they did the, uh, they checked him at second. The umpire said, out. He didn't get the home run. So <laughs> that's crazy. But it's, it's amazing to be here. It's the first time I've ever been here, and I heard this story probably a thousand times. So Ron, besides yeah. that, tell us about the history of your dad. He, he uh, actually was a San Francisco Giant, right? Yeah, so he got signed out of uh, Balboa High School by the San Francisco Giants. He was uh, sent to Fresno to play. He was in left field. All of a sudden he passed out in the middle of the game. They took him to the hospital and type 1 diabetes. It was so bad he couldn't play again. Back then they didn't have uh, you know, the resources for diabetes as they do now. Uh, so that's the story of my dad, Nick Exopolius, San Francisco Giants history. Bummer. Look him up. Paul, what are you thinking? So, this is rad. I love baseball. <laughs> I mean, this is the kind of this yeah, is the kind of field baseball. that you got to be really good at. Because look, look at all the bad hops. Oh that's yeah. What Peter Rose said. He said once he got to the major leagues, it was way easier. The hitting backgrounds are easier. The fields are awesome. Oh yeah. This and you and you face the same pitchers over and over again. It kind of makes sense. All right, that's our Balboa Park, Balboa history. Park history for today. Let's go. All right, three idiots. We did our review at the M Stop in San Francisco. We really liked it. And here we are at Balboa Park. One thing I forgot to note about Bal Balboa High School, which is just a few steps that way, is Johnny Mathis went to wow, Balboa Johnny High Mathis. School. Johnny Mathis. Oh, he's excited. So that's pretty dang. See you, Paul. See you, Paul. <laughs> so uh, this sandwich was really good. Both these sandwiches were really good. We like this guy. We like his place. Sal. Sal, good dude. Made us some bomb sandwiches. Um, I guess we have to decide. Was this? You know, he was boasting. He was pounding his chest. You know, my spot is the spot. Um, do we think it's as good as the, the, as uh, the deli, deli board? board? Well, well, I have to say, I think uh, deli board's here. And M stop is like right there. Yeah. It's, Deli, yeah. Deli board still, I think, is a pinnacle for me, but these were bomb these sandwiches. Are awesome. This guy you, you was can't go wrong. this guy was killer. Lots of passion in there, and that's what we that's what we want. Yep. So uh, you know, our average score would be, I'd say, around nine point four. Is that I fair? I think nine point four is very fair. So we gave the deli board a nine point six. And this is a nine point four. Do you think we should go nine point three? Is this only two no, points lower than Deli Board? I, I think let's let's, let's, let's stay with nine point four. You know, if anything, I would go Deli Board nine point seven. That's what I would do. We might have honestly. to raise after we're done with this. We might have to go back and and raise the uh, Deli Board a little bit. But anyway, yeah. all right. So you're thinking nine point four? Yeah, nine point four. Nine point four for the M Stop in San Francisco. Sal, you did a great job. Three idiots. Awesome.